Mr. Gaynor, thanks for testifying today on the administration's response to this pandemic. As a former senior advisor at HHS, I know that a successful response to a global public health crisis of this scale requires a whole of government response with clearly defined leadership. I'd like to get a better understanding of how this administration approaches that. Yes or no, is it your understanding that FEMA, as of today, is charged with leading the operational coordination for the federal interagency response to this pandemic? Yes, ma'am, we're still leading the coordination for the response. So with FEMA leading the federal response, do you report directly to the president on coronavirus matters? Did you say, can you say again, I, 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 it's very I said faint. with FEMA leading the response, do you report directly to the president for coronavirus matters? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, both the president and the uh, coronavirus task force with the vice president. Absolutely. Uh, okay. So according to your testimony, FEMA has been, quote, coordinating the whole of government response, end quote, to the pandemic since March 19th. Let me be clear. FEMA employees have worked incredibly hard in the four months since. But the truth is that FEMA was not designed for this type of crisis, a pandemic that impacts every state simultaneously and lasts a year or longer. It's very different from a localized disaster like a hurricane. So in the four months that you've led the response, have you asked the president for additional resources or support that you have not received? Well, ma'am, I, I disagree that we're, we're not designed for, for this pandemic. I absolutely agree. Uh, FEMA is designed exactly for this, which is uh, interagency coordination. So no matter if it's a hurricane or COVID-19, that's exactly what we do. Uh, we problem solve and we act. Uh, and we deliver solutions uh, to those most in need. Uh, so I, I disagree with your premise that this is not what we were designed for. I, and and the, the second part of your question, I, again, I, I, I have trouble hearing uh, what you're saying. In the four months since you've led the response, have you asked the president for any additional resources or, or support that you have not received? Uh, fr from the beginning. And again, I, I want to make sure that uh, facts drive the narrative. Uh, the president and the vice president and the coronavirus task force were very clear with me uh, that anything I needed, uh, whether it's a federal agency uh, that typically didn't respond, whether it's money, whether it's staffing, uh, whether it's uh, whatever I needed uh, was at my disposal uh, as we battle COVID-19. Uh, that was made clear explicitly uh, by the president and the coronavirus task force uh, uh, when he declared a national disaster on the 13th of uh, March. Okay, so did you ask for anything that you haven't received? Uh, again, uh, I, I have gotten uh, so I, I have great partners on the on the task force. So, from uh, uh, Dr. Jawa uh, on testing, uh, Dr. Han from FDA, uh, Dr. Burks who leads uh, uh, the, the data. I appreciate uh, we're familiar uh, so with the task force, sir. I'm asking you, have you asked for something that you haven't received? If the answer is no, that's fine. No, ma'am. I, I have gotten everything I've needed from the administration. Everything. Okay. So the coronavirus has been in this country for at least six months and we still have PPE shortages. So I have a hard time with you saying you've received everything you've asked for. Um, I shouldn't still be hearing about nurses reusing single-use masks, and yet they've gone on strike this month because they don't have the basic supplies they need to do their job safely. And yet in your testimony, sir, you write that FEMA is, quote, returning to steady state. DHS defines steady state as, quote, normal operations. You also write that FEMA's role in the coronavirus response are moving to other agencies and that FEMA's coronavirus task forces are being downgraded. With FEMA shedding responsibilities and moving back to normal operations, who in the federal government is taking over leadership of this ongoing crisis? Who's in charge of getting the testing where it needs to be? And who's in charge of making sure teachers going back to school have PPE? Uh, so uh, there's a lot in that in that question, ma'am. So first of all, uh, the, the president is, char is in charge of the coronavirus uh, response uh, through the vice president on the coronavirus task force, uh, through the many members, to include myself. Uh, we execute uh, those priorities and those uh, those decisions. Um, uh, you know, 
I'm, I'm not sure where the steady state came from. I, I think maybe that may be a little bit dated. That came from your uh, testimony. Because, because your again, this is this is a this is a this is a dynamic situation. It changes from day to day. Uh, we still lead the coronavirus task force. I have many great partners, uh, to include HHS. Uh, it is correct that some of the functions uh, uh, that have transferred back to HHS because it's more appropriate uh, because it's it's medical. Uh, early on, uh, you know, again, we adapted. And as we become more confident, we have uh, better systems, we have better data, we understand the problem more. Uh, some of those functions have uh, have shifted back to HHS. But but let me be clear, uh, FEMA is still in the operational lead uh, for operational coordination. Uh, we're we're, we're uh, glued to the hip with my HHS uh, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, and we still meet uh, uh, every day on making sure we can deliver the resources to the nation. Uh, especially those that are most at risk and most under stress of COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations. Well, Mr. Chairman, I just have to tell you, uh, Mr. Gaynor's testimony seems to then directly contradict his written testimony that he submitted. Um, at the end of page eight, beginning of page nine, he talks about FEMA returning to the steady state and normal operations, and now he's saying that they remain in charge of the operational response. I, I have tried in my five minutes, sir, to get an answer, a direct answer to this very straightforward question, and like Mr. Rose, seem to be getting a little bit of a, of a looped circular response here. We're seeing almost 60,000 cases a day. Healthcare workers don't have the PPE that they need, and no part of our federal government can be in normal operations at this time. We need an aggressive, coordinated federal response to contain this pandemic and reopen safely, and it's been lacking from this administration. I yield back. 